In this video, I'm going to talk about push notification using V2 connector in Power Apps. Now, what is a push notification? Push notification is basically an alert generated by an application when the application is not open or for notifying user of new messages or updates or new posts. Now, push notification is only applicable for mobile devices. The push notification is a uh, is some kind of a message you send out to your customers or users. Uh, uh, even when their app is not open, it will give you a pop-up like this message has come in. Now it can be a uh, salary credit or it can be uh, some transactions in your bank account or it can be some high level notification of pending task due or some sort of a reminder. Now this is different from an in-app notification. So an in-app notification, as you see over here, this is a model driven app. You need to be in the model driven app to view the notification. However, for push notification in a mobile device, even if the app is not opened, you will still see the notification. Again, it's different from a notification banner for Power Apps Canvas app. Here, the notification banner is basically displayed on top bar just to notify users about the warnings, information, or success messages within the application. Power Apps V2 push notification. Now, in Canvas Apps Power Apps, what you can do, you can use Power Apps notification V2 to send out a push notification to a uh, from a specific app application. Now, there are multiple ways through which you can implement this. You can directly use an independent Power Automate to run that. However, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Power Apps Notification V2. Now, I haven't found a single video in the internet which talks about sending out a Power Apps Notification V2 from Power Apps. So, uh, this video will show you a Power Apps V2 push notification connector used in the Power Apps, which allows you to send notification to Power Apps. It can send notification to Canvas or model driven app. It's a new connector. It's not a classic connector and it works on different mobile applications like field service app or sales app or Power App. Now V2 connector, the beauty of V2 connector is while using the connector, you can specify the mobile application. You can specify uh, a mobile application type, either Power Apps or Sales App or Field Service App, or you can specify again. You can specify the application within that specific app. So in Power Apps, you can specify whether it's a Canvas app or model driven app, and you can pick and choose that application. Recipient item list. You can specify one or more recipient to which this particular push notification is to be received, and some sort of a message and the target action, whether to open an application. Uh, and then some parameters. Now, as you see over here, you can specify field service, power apps, or sales. Uh, and also, uh, you can uh, select multiple applications. So unlike V1 connector, which is a classic connector, all the parameters are actually asked in this particular application. Now, this is a Power Automate screen. So we are not going to use Power Automate. We are going to use Power Apps, but then I'm going to show you how to use Power Apps to send out push notification to Power Apps. Okay, so let me jump into the demo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you one application which I've built, which is a Tom and Jerry app, which is a simple application. It just has a V1 button in it. Now I'm gonna add an, another button, which I may call it as button V2. Okay, so this is a new button. And this will trigger that V2 connection. So let me change the color just to identify it separately. And let me maximize this. The color I'm going to pick is say maybe orange. Okay. And this is that button, okay, which will trigger that connection. Now, just to show you, uh, I have a mobile app over here. This is my mobile and it will show you the power application, so power apps. And here I have Tom and Jerry app. Now, I haven't published the changes, so you will still see the old changes. So let's go into this Canvas app, click on V2. Now here on select, we need to do something. We need to send out push notification using V2 connector. But before we even do that, what we need to do, go into the data, 
I'm going to add data and here just type in push notification the moment you do that you will see power apps notification v1 or v2 so v2 this is a new one it says send push notification to apps created with power apps field service and sales trigger them from flows or other apps so i'm going to click on power apps notification v2 and here if i select this then it will establish that connection and then once the connection is established then i can utilize that power apps notification v2 now if i click on v2 over here on select i will start typing the formula power apps notification v2 dot send push notification so we need to select this one the second one now this is a bit tricky here it is asking for player type app recipient message open app dynamic parameters now nowhere it is documented how to use this i've gone into microsoft website so i've gone into website and here if you see this url power apps notification v2 it's a simple explanation what it does and just the data type how to use it what parameter to put it is not clear from here also there is one more url which is untyped object data type which is again simple how untyped object is used within power apps now this two url will help us in drafting the parameters over here so what we need to do is first we need to identify player type app recipients okay so let me open this screen side by side so i'll just do a split screen and open this table okay so let's see player type now the player type is a string okay so first one is a player type so it's a string so i'm just put double quotes then application again application is a string it's a double quotes then recipient is an array of string then i'm just put a put a square bracket put a double quotes inside it and that's it then i'm going to put a comma and the next one is a message which again i'm put double quotes because it's a string as you see over here message is string recipient is array of string your app is string mobile app is string open app whether to open the app or not it's a boolean okay so i'm going to put say true either true or false so i've just formatted this now the last option which you see over here is a dynamics param now in dynamics param now i have just opened uh, another article which says untyped object data type now here it says untyped object is a return type of specific untyped providers currently only the pass json function returns untyped object so we can use pass json function but we need to pass something within that pass json so let me put a double quotes over here and if you see over here now this syntax looks good okay now this was like nowhere documented so i did a bit of trial and error and tried to find out the exact syntax now from here let's start filling out some information now the first option which you saw in power uh, you know, send push notification v2 was a player type now how do you get the player type now remember like you can do the same thing in power automate so what i've done in manual i created a power automate manual trigger a flow so if i just click on add an action over here and if i just type power apps for power apps notification and if i select the notification push notification so let me type in push notifications and select push notification v2 mobile app is if you see this mobile app over here there is an option power apps okay so field service so if i select power apps then this is that mobile app player which is it is referring to so let me put power apps over here and the second option which the second uh, parameter was app so application what is that application now for me the application is basically the app which i'm referring to so let me go into the power apps and grab the application details okay now the application details if you see over here it's a tom and jerry app and if i click on details a lot of things come into picture now one is first thing you need to understand that this is the name of the app then you have an app id 
And third, you need to identify what kind of app it is. It is a Canvas app. So you need to pass this three parameters, but I'm going to come to that okay, in a moment. So let's hold on for that. Let's type in the email address of the user who should receive that notification. So I'll just say, okay, okay, dot on Microsoft.com. And again, I'll just find out what is the, uh, so first is player type, which we have already put. Application, we have just kept on hold. Recipient, we have just put. Then we have message, open app, and dynamic parents. Dynamic parents, we have just used past JSON. We are not passing any value. That returns an untyped object. That is fine. Open app is true. I want application to be open. And this, I just need to give it the message. Now, in the message, I will just type in, uh, hello world from v2 okay so this is a push notification which i'm going to receive now the second parameter is a bit tricky which we need to somehow find that out how to find that application reference okay now for that we will make use of power automate and what we're going to do we are going to again call this uh, canvas app okay so let me so you need not do this i'm just showing you how did i figure that out so let me run this so I'm just writing some message. So this is hello testing, okay? And I'm using the same for Power Automate, okay? I'll just say yes, okay? So, and then next action is terminate, okay? So that's fine. So I've created Power Apps, Tom and Jerry app. Um, recipient is this, let me save this and let me test it. So I'm testing this uh, Power Apps notification. I'm just run this flow and that's it, okay? Now I've run this flow and I should have received a notification within this application, which I have received, hello testing. Now flow is run perfectly fine. I will just go into this flow and try to see what has happened. So if you see the show raw input, here there will be a clue of what to put in the application. Now we have put true for opening the app, we have put the message, we have put the payload recipient as an array, we have put the player type. Now this player type, it is coming from here. That's why I put power as without a space. Okay, so if you see over here, power as without a space. Now we want to put this. Now this is a bit tricky. If you go into the power automate, let me copy this line, this complete line, okay, and put it in a notepad. So let me open a notepad and paste it over here. Let's read this payload app. Okay, so first thing you need to form some sort of a uh, uh, JSON. Okay, now if you see this app, app colon. Now, what is this app colon? You have uh, this entire thing, then you have an app identifier, and then you have a display name and you have a type. Okay, so let's pick up this app identifier. So let me copy this app identifier. Okay, this is one. Then we have display name. Okay, this is an, another one. And then we have type. Okay, so these are the three things we need to pass in. Now we know app identifier. This is the one which we can copy from the application ID, which I'll just copy from here directly. Now let's put it in a double quotes. Okay, that's it put a comma because we are forming a JSON object over here. Display name, again, put it in double quotes and copy this entire thing. Okay, there we go. Let me maximize this and copy this Tom and Jerry app here. Put it in double quotes. Now the type is Canvas app, okay? Without a space, double quotes, put it here. Now, this entire thing, we need to pass it as a double quoted string. So double quote string in the start, double quote string at the end. If we want to use double quote string, we cannot use double quotes over here. So we have to replace this with a single quote. So let's put a single quote over here. And remember, there's a comma over here and here as well. And a single quotes. That's it. So we can pass this as like a, a string and then we will pass this as a single quotes as well okay so like this we are passing it so let me remove all the spaces so app identifier colon something and then display name colon tom and jerry app 
and type colon canvas app and this and this so we have formed a string over here right let's see whether the string works or not so we are passing app identifier we are passing the display name and we are passing the type all this in a double code so it's a json object but in the form of a string so let me pass this here so i'll just remove this and paste it over here looks like this formula is correct from a uh, compilation perspective let's see after executing what happens so i'll just so let me show you what messages i'm typing i'm typing hello world from v2 let me save this and let me close the split screen view and this is the application so i've just saved it let me publish this application so i'll publish this version and i'll go to my mobile app and maybe i'll just try to pin this okay so this is the application now i have pinned my mobile application over here if you closely watch this entire syntax what we have done we have put the player type we have put the application details we have put the person who should receive the notification we have put the what message should be received and whether to open an app once someone clicks on that now there is an another object called as pass json now we are not passing anything we are just passing double quotes now here this will not work so what we need to do we need to put a opening braces and closing curly braces so we are passing an empty object so which is a valid json and then we are passing that into this untyped object parameter once that is done let me save this application and let me again publish this and now let me go into my mobile app so this is the power apps basically I, i'm just into the home screen of this let me play this app and let me click on v2 now if you see over here we have received this notification successfully and i can click on this notification and it will open the corresponding app and it will again ask you whether you want the new version of the app and once you click on it it will load the new version of the application so what we have done over here is we have uh, created a power app which will send a notification using power apps notification v2 but the parameter configuration is a bit tricky and that's why we have made use of power automate to get the payload details to configure this particular parameters so if you keep in mind the untyped object if you keep in mind how to pass the array and if you keep in mind how to form this u uh, this basically a string uh, represented json object which consists of app identifier display name and type then you should be able to successfully use power apps notification v2 so that's it folks this is all about using power apps notification v2 for push notification in your microsoft power apps of type canvas thanks for watching